to find out. They set up an experiment so simple in design and so profound in implication that its results still rattle physicists today. Though the double-slit experiment started with light, later versions used electrons, atoms, even molecules. Imagine a flat screen with two narrow vertical slits cut into it side by side. Behind that screen is a detector, a wall that registers where anything that passes through the slits ends up. In front of the slits, we have a source that fires tiny particles, let's say electrons, though it could be photons or other quantum bits, one at a time toward the slits. Now, if electrons were just particles, like little BBs, you'd expect them to go through one slit or the other and hit the detector behind in two bands lining up with each slit. Instead, when the electrons are sent through the slits without measuring which slit they go through, something eerie occurs. It's a series of alternating light and dark stripes, a pattern known as interference, which only happens when waves interact. Somehow, each electron behaves like a wave passing through both slits at the same time, interfering with itself. But then comes the twist, the part that redefined our understanding of reality. Physicists decided to find out which slit each electron actually passed through. So they set up a measuring device, something that could detect and record whether the electron went through the left slit or the right. They just watched. And the moment they began watching, the interference pattern disappeared. Now the electrons hit the screen in two neat bands again, just like little particles should. It's as if the electrons, knowing they were being observed, suddenly stopped behaving like waves and started behaving like discrete, well-behaved particles. The act of measuring which path they took changed the outcome. 